Hey guys, today we are going to talk about this post from Tolarian Community College. I really hope this person is joking. Please don't do this. Don't think this way. It is a guy on Twitter saying that he had stupidly spent $11,000 chasing these stupid Lord of the Ring cards that were supposed to pay off my credit cards and go towards my 401k. And now I'm screwed and I have nothing to show for it. So Lord of the Rings is a very interesting set. They are definitely milking. the. They're trying to milk every last dime. Uh, if you don't believe me, we can look at the new Secret Lair edition. More Adventures in Middle Earth. What if I told you that it was $30 for four commons? Or four uncommons. I believe these are all uncommons. They're not even rares or mythics. They're not even character cards. They're just uncommons. So yes, this is what they're charging you for four uncommons. Probably, as many have stated, one of the worst secret layers in terms of value. Combined, it is less than $2 of value. Again, uncommons. I do know this is from the IP, the animated movie IP. So technically, they probably paid money for the licensing of that movie. But nonetheless, it is for uncommons, commons. I, I just know that they're not rares or mythics. They could have chose better cards, but they are very, very greedy. Uh, very few of these cards are actually going to see much play, in my personal opinion. And this is a recent set. Now, when we go ahead and we look at Mirror of Gladlade, is the are these uncommons? How a legendary artifact uncommon? Hmm. I don't know. That one seems like it could be rare. Definitely the land is a common. That land is the definition of what a common land would be doing. But anyway, let's take a look at the prices. The reason that this is such a chase is if you don't hit a serialized ring, you're pretty much going to be out money. And I can use simple maths to prove this to you. So if a box costs $470, and there's 12 packs. That means each pack is around roughly, give or take, $40. In a $40 pack, you are hoping you know, that there are multiple cards over $40 so you can break even. Uh, you're hoping for multiple cards actually over $50 so if you list on TCG Player, you break even. A box, if you open a box of 12 packs and the most valuable card is 50 to 60 dollars and there's no other cards within that range you're effed so like i said what i love is and they do have a nazareth a really good uncommon but again that's not stating very much when even your mythics and rares have so little value so this set has been is going to be open so much that's definitely going to put pressure on these single prices so Going back to Tolarian Community College's original tweet, it is a very interesting scenario where people are gambling, and it is a gamble. You hit a serialized ring or you hit nothing. There is no value in this set. Um, even in uh, Dungeons & Dragons, Commander Legends, there's a $80 dragon. Even in Dominary United Draft Booster Pack, I have pulled a Seedred worth about $90 to $100. There are no valuable cards in this set. Uh, part of that is because of how many um, boxes are being opened, chasing the ring. And part of it is because the set is actually not that powerful. Now, would I say, I'd probably say 75%, just the sheer amount of cards being opened. 25%, the set just not being very, very good. So back to uh, what I, I really want to emphasize here. The, the prices are outrageous. The box openings are only going to come more. I think Tolarian Community College is right. Um, if you spend $11,000, that's a lot of money, my dudes. $11,000 is not a small amount of money. You could eat many dinners. Uh, you could eat actually one. You could eat. Eleven thousand dollars. Yeah, that's that's a lot of money. I was thinking eleven hundred was a lot. You could eat a hundred and ten dinners at Red Lobster with a date. That's how I calculate it. If every dinner averages out to be a hundred dollars, now some dinners are going to be way more than a hundred. Some dinners are going to be way less than a hundred. But yeah, 
if every dinner averages out to be a hundred dollars that is a hundred and ten dinners with your significant other there's no way you can eat 110 meals unless you're retired outside that cost on average hundred dollars a meal in fact eleven thousand dollars divided by 365 what what is that a day thirty dollars a day not bad. I mean, that actually could be if you ate breakfast, it was on average, if a breakfast, lunch, and dinner was about $10 a meal, uh, that would be all your food for a whole year if you're able to keep down that average, right? Which is really impressive. I mean, that's $11,000 is not a small amount of money, my guys. Um, $150 a week, uh, $600 a month. I mean, it. it it's a lot of money and I look at the cards I look at them and I say man there's no value in this outside of the one ring everything is basically worthless in this set and again it's only going to get cheaper because more boxes are open more singles will flood the market to try to recover some amount of money so then they can open even more boxes and the cycle continues the cycle basically never ever ends right it is a infinite cycle and in my opinion it is a very devastating cycle it's something that i would not wish upon my worst enemy now a lot of you are saying oh well are you not going to open the car i don't know i do not know uh so i am vehemently against it because i feel like it is exactly what tolerant community college said it is you're just feeding on people's addiction and there's not much value. So it, it is either you you hit everything or you hit nothing. There is seriously no intermediate. And that would really, really scare me. That that scares me in a set. I like when even um, New Compenna, I like the fact there's five land rares at $10, $15, depending on the, the alt artwork. Uh, and you buy it for, you know, you can make back your money and then some. Here, there's no way to make back your money. If a pack is $40, which of these cards is going to make back your money? Like, how many packs do you think can hit $40 when you open them? My guess is very few. And at $470 a box, this is a very fast way to go broke. It reminds me a lot of sports card collectors and the set called Panini and everyone chasing or select or whatever the set new set is. It's scary, guys. It is very scary. Um, I would advise you to be careful. I would just advise you to. Yeah. I advise you to. Um. It's tough, man, and they're, they're milking the bejesus out of us. If you don't believe they're milking the bejesus out of us, take a look at this secret layer. I've never seen anything like it. It's so greedy. So the combined value of the cards, again, yes, this is movie artwork, is probably about $2, and they're charging $30 for it. My God, like, you know, I, I really do not know why they did that i stupidly spent eleven thousand dollars chasing those stupid out i mean people people are going to be upset eleven thousand dollars is ten dollars a, a meal it's ten it's thirty dollars a day which is equivalent to most people if they're averagely eating ten dollar meals which would be difficult for me personally to do but i guess it would be possible hi <laughs> guys